On the occasion of 45th Amartya of our beloved Baba, this is an interview. Avtar Mer Baba Ki Jai. You are getting it? Okay. Now you ask question and I'll... Yeah. Avtar Mer Baba Ki Jai. Mehrwan Ji, can you tell us about uh, the meaning of suffering? And Baba's suffering and our suffering correlating with Amartya Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the difference between our suffering and uh, Avtar Mehr Baba's suffering, uh, there is a vast difference here. Yeah. We suffer because of our sanskaras. The avatar, when he comes down, he has no sanskaras. He comes with what what is called yoga yoga sanskaras. So, when he comes down from his infinite blissful state and takes avatar on the earth, he comes here to take upon himself the suffering of his creation because he comes at a time when the suffering of the world is reaching a climax. If he doesn't come and take upon himself the suffering that would befall his creation, it could it could result in untold suffering for the creation. So, to mitigate a part of the suffering, he comes on earth and takes upon himself the task of taking all the burden of, of the suffering of the whole of creation upon himself. So that's the difference. He once said that Jesus was crucified once, but I am being crucified every moment. So uh, <coughs> that's the difference between his suffering and our suffering. Baba says that in each advent when he comes, it is once again to inform the whole world that what what is needed is love for God. Whenever I come, he has always said, love God. That's the religion I preach. And as I <coughs> as I am the personification of God. Love me, for I am God in human form. So, this message that he gives time and again in, in, future, in the future generations that follow, it gets covered up by rites, rituals, ceremonies, and all this and loving God is set aside and only ceremonial is, is, what, is what takes over and that is what covers the truth. The truth is love, love for God. So in order to re-establish this, he has to come again and again and again. 